because yes, I'm going to be swatching Harry Potter makeup. We've got eyeshadows, we've got highlighters, we've got lip products, butter, beer, lip gloss, polyjuice potion lip gloss. We've got Professor McGonagall eyeshadow, chocolate frog highlighter. Oh my gosh, I am just so excited. But before we get right into that, please, if you haven't yet already subscribed to my channel, definitely do completely free and you guys will always be notified of when I have new videos. Join the rainbow family! Join the rainbow family! <laughs> As most of you would probably know if you're a massive Harry Potter fan like me, there's a company that's coming out with the Harry Potter makeup brushes and so I was kind of searching for Harry Potter type makeup and I came across this. So this is by a brand called Shiro. I purchased the entire collection of the Marauders, Mugwumps and Muggles. So that is what it's called. To be 100% honest, I'm not actually sure if you can still purchase these products. Um, I know that I've posted links to this on my Facebook and stuff like that and a few people have said that they couldn't actually find the products anymore so I'm not sure if there's just been so much popularity that they've taken it off so they can reformulate and bring more products back or yeah I'm not 100% sure but I'm gonna link their website in the description box below so you guys can check it out I purchased these on the 15th of October it came to $147.95 that was in US dollars as well so the conversion rate it was yeah it was quite expensive but I thought Harry Potter I have to have it I didn't actually receive the products until the 21st of November so it did take what one two three like four or five weeks for the products to come and they do say on their website like how many orders that they currently have and what order you'll currently be so I think there's like a, quite a few like 3,000 orders or something that they have so they are extremely popular website they do actually have quite a few different brands but yeah in terms of these products I'm not 100% sure on the meals because it doesn't actually say the meals on there and as I said I was trying to just look up this whole collection and I couldn't actually find it so I'm not 100% sure what's going on, but this is basically the size. I did get the full size ones. So this is what they look like. It is all just like kind of plastic perspex. It will have a image of the character. On the back it will say Shiro Cosmetics. It will have the quote of the character, which is basically the name of the, the color. So here we have Lupin, and on the back the quote is too old, too poor, too dangerous. It's got a list of the ingredients, which are mica, titanium di dioxide, iron oxide, tin oxide, magnesium, something, something, and it's lip safe as well. So there are 20 shadows in this whole collection, and I'm just gonna get right into swatching them, and yeah, I can't wait. First one we are going to start off with is the Hermione shadow. This is called a bit of a light reading you guys ready <laughs> okay so this has like a kind of burnt brownie plummy kind of tone to it i wouldn't say it's 100 percent matte it definitely has like a metallic -y kind of finish to it but yeah that is really pretty all right the next shadow is the harry potter one this is the boy who lived Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. This one is like a kind of deep gun metal -y kind of gray color, which is quite matte, but then it has so much gold, almost like a greeny gold glitter to it. That is just crazy. Like the glitter actually pops up so much in amidst that shadow, even like from this distance, you guys can see it. Oh! So the next one, Voldemort, he who must not be named. Ooh. So this one is quite a matte kind of shadow. It looks like Voldemort's skin almost. It has like a real kind of grey, almost like a taupey kind of hue to it. Mm. Next one is Dumbledore, the well-organized mind. It's actually quite hard to get the colour because my nails are so long I can't get my finger in there. Mm. 
Oh my gosh. That is beyond pretty. <gasps> Look at that. So this is like a real kind of pearlescent silver. It almost has like this kind of lilac-y hue to it in a way. Oh! So pretty. The next one here is Lupin. So too old, too poor, too dangerous. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so this it's like again that kind of grey base to it, but it has like this bronzy kind of underlying pigment to it. Oh, it's so pretty. Alright, the next one is Draco and it's not yet so damaged. So a lot of these pigments, obviously, they are loose shadows. Um, I do reckon you would get a fair bit of fallout with them. I'm not sure, like, in terms of longevity and stuff, how long they'd last, but they are extremely pigmented. And, of course, like, applying these wet or, like, using a bit of a setting spray with them huh, would be amazing. So this one here is the Draco. And it is so pretty. It kind of reminds me of Draco's hair. <laughs> So it is a really nice pale shade, almost has like a lemony, slightly kind of gold undertone to it. Um, but yeah, reminds me of Draco's hair. Okay, so the next one we have here is Neville and it is all kinds of courage. Oh, look at that. So this is a really rich royal blue color. It has a slight kind of greeny, like mermaid scale kind of pigment to it as well. But, oh, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to do tutorials with these. Oh my gosh. So the next one here is Luna, and this is called You're Just As Sane As I Am. Oh, wow. This is insanely pretty. Oh, so this is like a very pale silvery lavender lilac-y kind of color it is just so metallic and pigmented and oh my gosh i cannot wait to use that color so much fun <laughs> the next one is the dudleys <laughs> there's no such thing as magic <laughs> wow so this has quite a bit of different reflect to it actually it went on quite pink but then as i kind of like blend it in a little bit more. It has a real kind of taupey hue to it. I don't know if that's like a stab at Dudley's, like they have no imagination, so it's quite a bland, natural kind of color. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think this color would actually be really, really nice for transitions. It is quite more of a matte shade. It does have a little bit of kind of gold reflect to it, but nothing really that drastic. The next one is Dobby and it's a free L. Wow. So this is such a kind of mustardy yellow kind of color. It looks quite gold in the little pan, but when you swatch it, it has a real matte kind of mustardy color to it, which I actually really like. I think these colors are definitely coming, coming in season, especially, well, it's summer here in Australia, but I can see this as being a real good autumn or fall kind of color. The next one are the Weasley twins. So this is Wizard Weezers. <gasps> Guys, it's like the most perfect rose gold color. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It is so pretty. It is beyond pretty. Oh my gosh. Ah. It has like this pinky, goldy, silvery, magenta kind of pigmenty glitters in it. Oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous. This next one is McGonagall. I love the name of this one. It is Have a Biscuit Potter. Reminds me of my nails. Oh, it is so pretty. Again, this is like a real kind of metallic-y color. It has this gorgeous emerald green with almost like a lighter green, like pigmenty kind of shift to it. This next one is Tonks and this is Metamorph Margis. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. So this is like a kind of deep lilac-y purple color, but like the more concentrated it is, the lighter it is. But when you kind of start to blend it out, you see that real gray kind of bluey undertone to it. <gasps> it's so pretty. It's just gorgeous. Ah! <laughs> this is honestly so much fun. And I know like the camera zooming you guys in, zooming you guys out, but ah. Doesn't matter. All right, the next one is Ron, and it's called That's Chess. Make sure you guys are in focus. <laughs> okay, so this is like a real kind of, almost like a cool-toned bronze 
color if that is even possible but it has this gorgeous kind of metallic vibe to it oh so pretty the next one is bellatrix and this is mad as her master wow that is so pretty. It's quite a really dark grey kind of blue colour, but it has this green pigment all the way through it. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Next one is Mad Eye, and his eye isn't actually blue. It needs to be blue. And this one is called Constant Vigilance. <laughs> Wow. So again, this is like a real antique -y kind of gold color. Oh, it is amazing. All right, the next one is Snape, and it is after all this time. <gasps> oh, my. oh, wow. That is so pretty. Can you imagine a smoky eye with that? Oh. <laughs> I'm going to start like hyperventilating soon. <laughs> so this is a really deep dark green and it's got like this gorgeous gold green pigment shift like all the way through it. Huh. Next one is Ginny and this one is called If You've Got Enough Nerve. So I am honestly so struggling to get the colour to come out of this little thing. I've like grabbed my tail comb and like poked in it trying to get like the little filter thing out. It doesn't work so... So pretty <laughs> so it is a real kind of bronze kind of like a true bronze with almost like a silvery slightly pinky glitter pigment to it so the next one is Sirius and this one is called the dark and light inside us so again this one's quite a dark kind of almost gray color but it has lots of gold kind of reflect and pigment to it the last one is Hagrid and he's got his umbrella. This is too big to be allowed. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh my gosh. <gasps> that is insane. So it almost has like the same underline that the serious one did but it's got so much pink kind of glitter to it. <gasps> it's so pretty. So 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 pretty. So pretty. <sighs> Okay, so they are all of the Harry Potter eyeshadows. So I'm now going to get onto the lip products and then we'll do the samples as well. So I brought three of the lip products. They had all of these based off the potions. So we'll start off with this first one. This one is Felix Felicis. As you guys can kind of see, like it's got like this clear portion here and then it's really gold and really quite glittery. So I'm going to just swatch this on my lips for you. Just make sure I've got nothing else on my lips. <laughs> um, wow. Oh my gosh. It smells really good. It smells like icing, like vanilla cupcake kind of icing, and it looks really gold. Oh my gosh. So I do feel it's quite sheer. It feels really, really moisturizing. It doesn't feel sticky at all. Mm, it feels good and it smells amazing like it doesn't feel sticky but it's quite like a thick kind of coating so i'll kind of um go a bit closer to the camera and show you guys we'll do the next one this is amortensia which is the love potion i swear that in the books wasn't it meant to have like a kind of periwinkle sheen to it like i i don't know i was kind of expecting something like opalescent in a way um i might be wrong but oh well so this is quite a dark um purpley ready it does look like it's got lots of glitter in it oh it smells good it doesn't smell the same as the felix felicis it has like a kind of berry type smell to it um and it looks really really quite dark oh my gosh it is dark it is so so pigmented and so glossy 
again it doesn't feel sticky at all it has a really nice finish to it I'm not sure how the longevity of it will go considering it is like more of a gloss but yeah it's so so pigmented oh it's so nice Alright, the last one is Polyjuice. So it is this kind of green, greeny kind of colour. Wow. It smells like... I don't know, what does that smell like? It's got quite a strong like smell that hits you. It's not minty. It's almost like Christmassy tree spicy kind of I, I really can't put my finger on what that smell is but um i reckon this will be quite clear i don't know we'll see it is yay <laughs> so this is pretty much just a clear gloss does have a bit of that green if you apply a lot but yeah again it feels very nice and smooth it's not sticky it's not cluggy nothing like that but yeah, it does have a very, very strong scent to it. The next one, I have a little sample of the Butterbeer. So this is, again, a gloss. Let's smell it. <laughs> wow. It is very, very strong, very sweet, kind of sickly sweet. It just smells like Butterbeer. Very caramelly, sugary kind of scent. Um, yeah, I'll apply this. It does look like it's got like some kind of foamy, glittery stuff in it as well. Wow, it smells like even applying it to my lips, you can smell it. So yeah, it just feels the same as all the other ones. Very, very smooth, not sticky, very glossy. Feels very, very hydrating. So we'll get into these samples. I know that Shiro Cosmetics do other collections, like there's a Lord of the Rings collections. I'm pretty sure there's a Game of Thrones collection. So I'm not sure what these ones are kind of from. This one is Demakai? 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 I don't know what that's from. But this says it's not lip safe, so I'm not sure. Oh, actually, some of these say that they're not lip safe. So some say that, like, Hagrid is lip safe. Tonks is not lip safe. So, yeah, bear that in mind. Ooh, look at that. Uh, this one is self-congratulatory nonsense and despicable insults. This is a more matte one. Ooh, it's very matte. Very bad news. It's a shadow. It has like this real kind of red pigment to it. Oh yeah. All right, the last one I have for you guys is a highlighter and this is the White Chocolate Frog. Okay, again, this is in the Harry Potter kind of collection. I know there is a Chocolate Frog one as well, which I think might, may be a bronzer. I'm not sure, but this is a highlighter. Oh yeah, look at that. That is so glowy. I've got a little bit still on my finger, so I'm gonna, oh, hello. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. <laughs> I feel like I'm glowing. Okay, rainbows, so they are all of the Harry Potter makeup collection from Shiro Cosmetics. Oh my gosh, I feel like the happiest person in the world. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It would honestly mean so much to me. Help the rainbow family grow. <laughs> Love you all, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!